hijacking, which is this ruthless kind of grueling downbeat drama about a Danish ship being hijacked by Somali pirates. And unlike in a Hollywood movie, you know, you'd see the raid, you'd, you'd, you know, there, there would be action and adventure. In the case of this, you don't, you just hear the raid happening. It's almost incidental. The ship is out there and the next thing, you know, it's been taken over by Somali pirates. And what then happens is the drama plays out, the action, and I use the action in inverted commas, between, on the one hand, the negotiator, a guy called Omar, who's on the boat doing the negotiation from their point of view, and who is whose role is extremely duplicitous, who appears to be part of the pirates himself. And on the other hand, the guy who is the, in charge of the company who owns the boat. And he is told at the very beginning, you do not want to do this negotiation. You can't do this negotiation because these negotiations have to be done by somebody who is dispassionate, somebody who is not involved, somebody who is not emotional, because it's these negotiations are really complicated and you can't do it. He says, this is my company. This is my responsibility. This is my job. And we've seen him earlier on having a business meeting in which they're doing the, you know, I want, you know, we want 10%, they want 40%, you know, you, the bargaining thing, you know, okay, fine, you're not coming down far enough, we're going to walk out of the room. So we've seen that in terms of business, he's a very shrewd operator. And at the beginning, that shrewd operation seems to be what they need, somebody with a completely cool head. But obviously, as the days go by, you've intercut between him being trapped in his office, having to deal with this negotiation. Negotiation all, incidentally, c carried out over terrible mobile phone signals and by intermittent faxes. So basically long periods of silence with very short gnomic conversations. And as I said, one of the most intriguing characters is the character of Omar at the beginning who introduces himself as, I'm just a negotiator. And there's one scene in which the boss of the company says, look, I understand you're all very professional. And he means it as a compliment. And Omar says, I'm not one of them. I'm not a part it's the, the, on the slightest knife's edge the whole com the whole thing can turn it's really grueling it's very very believable you really believe in the plight of the people stuck on the boat you really believe in the plight of the guys at the other end attempting to negotiate settlement which actually isn't anything to do with from their point of view is not to do with money they're told at the beginning if they ask for this much money and you pay it that won't get the, the men back what you have to do is you have they can only work through negotiation and it was one of those you know every now and then you watch a film when you find yourself sort of gripping something and you realize as the film's been going for a while that you've been gripping the edge of the table for quite a long time not because you know it's like a like an action-packed chase thriller but just because the that it's claustrophobic and it's completely um engrossing and it it is a film about being in a trapped situation from which there isn't almost no escape which in this this you know sense of inevitable disaster looming but you know anyway i thought it was very gripping very tough going